All right, math 20-2. Today we're going to look at factoring trinomials in the form x squared plus bx plus c, where a doesn't equal 1. So we call this method decomposition. All right. Let's do a quick review. Complete the following. 2x plus 1 times 2x, 3x plus 4. If we expand this out, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times 4 is 8x, and 1 times 3 is 3x. 8x plus 3x is 11x, and 1 times 4 is 4. So we could say that 6x squared plus 11x plus 4 factors to be 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 4. Same can we say with part b. All right. If I'm to expand 3x minus 2 times 4x plus 3, 3x times 4x is 12x squared, 3x times 3x is 9x, and negative 2 times 4x is minus 8x. So 9x minus 8x is plus x, and negative 2 times 3 is minus 6. So we could say that 12x squared plus x minus 6 factors to be 3x minus 2 times 4x plus 3. Consider the following problem then. What are the factors of 2x squared plus 7x plus 6? We need to find two binomials whose product is 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. First method we could look at is called using algebra tiles. So write the polynomial expression for the group of algebra tiles shown. Well, I've got 2x squared, so this is x by x. So I've got 2x squared. This is x by 1, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 x's. And I've got 1 by 1, so I've got 6. So this is 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. If you can arrange these algebra tiles into a rectangle and state the length and width of that rectangle, then you have factored this expression. So try and rearrange these tiles into a rectangle. And see what you get. Then start this and see what I got. So here we have it. I've arranged this into a rectangle. All right, so if I make a little chart like this, what I have here is 2x's plus 3 by 1x plus 2. And those should be your factors then. 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. All right. So if you can arrange it into a rectangle, then you can factor any trinomial. So use the algebra diagram to express the polynomial in factored form. I basically said that. 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 equals 2x plus 3 times x plus 2. There we go. All right. Factor 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 using algebra tiles. Again, think of those uh, shapes in terms of algebra tiles. Remember, solids, shaded ones are positive, and non-shaded are negative. So rearrange 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 into a rectangle, and you factored this binomial. Trinomial, sorry. Way you go. Try it. So there's my rectangle. I can see that the width is x plus 1, and the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x plus 2. So those should be the factors. 5x squared plus 7x plus 2 should factor as length of 5x plus 2 times the width of x plus 1. All right? So factoring using algebra tiles will work for all trinomials of this form which have two binomial factors. However, it gets rather tedious. The values for a, b, and c get rather large, and you have to draw a bunch of different algebra tiles. Right? Remember, I also said all the positives are shaded, so all these should have been shaded. I apologize, because everything here was positive. If they're not shaded, they're said to be negative algebra tiles. Let's look at factoring x squared plus bx plus c using the method of decomposition. Uh, in earlier stuff, we did all these. You can read through these notes if you want. We're going to go straight to the method. Factor using the method of decomposition. Compare the answer with the class examples 1 and 2 using algebra tiles. 
All right, so to factor using decomposition, what we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves what two numbers have a sum of the middle term 7 and a product of the first times the last 12. So what two numbers add to 7, multiply to 12? Those two numbers are 2 and 5. Mm, not true. Those two numbers are 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is 12, 3 plus 4 is 7. With the inspection method, those numbers would have been our factors. But now we're going to decompose this middle term. So we're going to rewrite this as a four-term expression. Keep the first term as 2x squared. And rewrite 7x as 3x and 4x. And it doesn't matter what order you write them. It could have been 4x and 3x. And then keep the last term 6. Now you've got a four-term expression. And if you recall from our first lesson, I'm going to factor by grouping. The common factor of the first two terms is an x. So I factor out an x, and I'm left with 2x plus 3. The common factor of the last two terms is a positive 2. 4x divided by 2 is 2x, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And now I notice I've got a common binomial factor of 2x plus 3. So I factor out the 2x plus 3, I'm left with x plus 2. There is our factors of 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Those are the same ones we got using algebra tiles. If I use the method of decomposition, it works every single time in one, two, three steps. All right? Every time in three steps. So step one, ask yourself, what two numbers have a sum of the middle term, 7, and a product of the first times the last? 2 times 5 is 10. So what the numbers add to 7 multiplied to 10? Well, those numbers are 5 and 2. So we're going to use 5 and 2 to decompose the definition of this method. Or the name of this method is decomposition. We're going to decompose the middle term. So you keep the first term, 5x squared, and you rewrite 7x using these two numbers you found, plus 5x plus 2x. That's the same as 7x. So it's the same value. We're just going to change the way it looks. And then we keep the last term of 2. Now we factor by grouping. Common factor of the first two terms is a 5x. Divide both terms by 5x. 5x squared divided by 5x is x. 5x divided by 5x is 1. Common factor of 2x plus 2 is a positive 2. 2x divided by 2 is x. 2x divided by 2 is 1. Or 2 divided by 2 is 1. And now I notice a common binomial factor of x plus 1. If you factor it correctly, that should always happen. You should always have a common binomial factor. So you factor out the x plus 1, you're left with 5x plus 2. Those are the factors of 5x squared plus 7x plus 2. And if you look in your algebra tiles, the method we did that, we get the same thing. Example 4, factor these three uh, quadratic expressions, all right? We have to use decomposition because the number in front of the x squared term is not 1. So you ask yourself, what two numbers add to the middle term and multiply to 6 times negative 3 or negative 18? All right? So again, write down all things that multiply to 18. 1 times 18, do they ever add to 17? Sure, 18 minus 1 is 17. So those are the numbers we want. We want the numbers 1 and 18. Now, one of those should be negative, so I want a negative 1 and a positive 18. That's the only way to get the sum of 17. So let's do our three steps. Keep your first term, 6x squared. Decompose that middle term, 17x, by using these two numbers. So minus x plus 18x. And keep your last term, minus 3. Now factor by grouping. Common factor of the first two terms is an x. I'm left with 6x minus 1. Common factor of the last two terms is a positive 3. So you divide both terms by 3. 18x divided by 3 is 6x, and negative 3 divided by 3 is a minus 1. If you've done this correctly, we should have a binomial common factor. Our binomial common factor in this case is 6x minus 1. So you factor out the 6x minus 1, and you're left with x plus 3. And we factored 6x squared plus 17x minus 3. Beautiful. All right? Do the same thing with b. What two numbers have a sum of negative 2 and a product of 3 times negative 8, or negative 24? 
Well, if that's if if this first step is the the thing you have most trouble with, write down all the factors of 24. What are the things that multiply to 24? Well, 1 times 24. Will they ever add or subtract to 2? No, that'll give me 23 or 25. No good. 2 times 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 12 minus 2 is 10. Not going to give me negative 2. Uh, 3 times 8 is 24. 3 minus 8 or 3 plus 8 will never give me 2. How about 4 times 6? That's 24. 4 plus 6 is not 2, but 4 minus 6 is 2. So the numbers we want are 4 and 6. So we want 4 and 6, and one of them has to be negative to get negative 24, and to get negative 2, I want that 6 to be negative. So once I have those numbers, I'm going to, decom I'm going to decompose that middle term. So I keep my first term, 3x squared, and I rewrite minus 2x as plus 4x minus 6x. And I keep that last term a negative 8. I now have a four-term expression. I factor by grouping. The common factor of my first two terms is an x. 3x squared divided by x is 3x. 4x divided by x is 4. Common factor of the last two terms is a negative 2. Negative 6x divided by negative 2x is 3x. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is a positive 4. And if you've done this correctly, you've got a common binomial factor of 3x plus 4. So you factor out 3x plus 4. You're left with x minus 2. Very nice. There are factors of 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. All right. Part C. You guys try C, pause this, and then you can restart it and see what I came up with. All right, so you ask yourself what two numbers have a sum of the middle term, negative 8, a product of 12 times 1, which is 12. Those two numbers are negative 6 and negative 2. So you decompose your middle term, negative 6t minus 2t. All right, factor by grouping. Common factor of the first two terms is 6t. Common factor of the last two terms is minus 1. Take out your common binomial factor of 2t minus 1. You're left with 6t minus 1. Great. You guys try these last two. On your own, see what you come up with. And you can watch what I did and get the correct answer. All right, for part A, you ask yourself, what two numbers of a sum of the middle term, negative 7? A product of 15 times negative 2 is negative 30. Those two numbers are negative 10 and positive 3. So you decompose 7, negative 7x into negative 10x plus 3x. Then you factor by grouping. Common factor of 15 minus 10x is 5. You're left with 3 minus 2x. Common factor of 3x minus 2x squared is x. You're left with 3 minus 2x. You factor out the 3 minus 2x. You're left with 5 plus x. Beautiful. Part B, I notice all three terms have a common factor of 5. So that's the first thing I did is I factored out the 5. So I get 3x squared plus x minus 2. Then I say, what two numbers have a sum of the middle term, a product of the first times the last? The two things that multiply to negative 6 and add to 1 are 3 and negative 2. I use 3 and negative 2 to decompose my middle term plus x. All right. And then I factor by grouping. Common factor of 3x squared and 3x is 3x. I'm left with x plus 1. Common factor of negative 2x minus 2 is a negative 2. I'm left with x plus 1. I factor out that x plus 1. There it is. And I'm left with 3x minus 2. All right. Kept my common factor all the way along. That has to stay with the question. Okay. So you guys have your assignment. Numbers 1 through 10. Away you go.